Live cattle futures were lower on the day with the most actively traded August contract leading the way, settling at 162.57. That was down a dollar and two on the day. Feeder cattle were also lower in today's trade in August, also the most actively traded contract, settled a dollar 42 lower to 233.47. Now, a two-day rally in corn may have been an added headwind to the feeder cattle market, which was already flirting with what most technicians refer to as overbought territory. The most recent commitment of traders report showed managed money holding a net long position of just over 100,000 futures and options contracts. Now, broken down, that's about 113,000 longs versus only 13,000 shorts. And some analysts are cautioning that a lack of new bullish headlines may lead to risk of profit taking and long liquidation, some of which may have already been taking place following Friday afternoon's cattle on feed report, which is right in line with estimates. Now, the USDA's five area average price for live cattle to start the week came in near 175, fairly steady with what we've seen in recent reports, so not a whole lot of new news to report on that front. This morning's wholesale box beef report was mixed. Choice cuts up 18 cents to 30408 and select cuts down $1.52 to 28191. Now, Monday's daily slaughter was reported at 125,000 head. That's 1,000 more head than last Monday.